Good day, my name is Gijs Breukink. I work for WWF International as responsible forestry coordinator. If we want forests to continue to provide us with resources, keep our climate stable and conserve biodiversity, then we need to tackle the threats they face urgently and decisively. WWF wants to see zero net deforestation and forest degradation, or ZNDD, meaning no further loss in the quantity or quality of the world's forest. Our target is to achieve this by 2020 and maintain it from then on. This means that most natural forests should be retained and the annual rate of loss of natural or semi-natural forests should be reduced to near zero. Climate change is one of the reasons that ending forest loss is so urgent. Degraded forests could change from carbon sinks to carbon sources, accelerating runaway climate change. Deforestation and forest degradation are responsible for about 20% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Achieving ZNDD by 2020 would make a big contribution to keeping global temperature rises below 2 degrees Celsius. Over 20% of natural tropical moist forests are designated by natural gov national, go national governments for logging. This makes logging one of the dominant land uses in the tropics, surpassing agriculture in many areas. Likewise, logging plays an important role in the economic development strategies of many tropical forest countries. Demand for timber is expected to significantly increase over the next decades. If the increasing demand for timber is not met, likely alternative material, materials such as steel and cement with higher carbon footprints would sub substitute for that demand, resulting in yet higher greenhouse gas emissions. Because selective logged tropical forests retain the majority of the biodiversity in carbon stocks, they provide considerable conservation benefits as well as jobs, rents to governments and other forest owners and global commodities. In an effort to foster low impact of tropical forest timber production forests, organizations like the Forest Stewardship Council and the Tropical Forest Foundations are working with logging enterprises to advance a variety of reduced impact logging practices across the tropics. However, until now, an affordable science-based approach to estimate and verify the carbon emissions reducing uh, carbon emission reduction benefits of real practices has not been available. As a result, logging companies have been unable to access incentives to reduce their climate impact with real practices that reduce carbon emissions, which we have dubbed real C. Less than 5% of logging operations in the tropics currently use real. So there's a large need to access such incentives. The PCS Real C methodology developed by TNC and TFF looks to demonstrate and capitalize on emission reductions derived from improved management practices. The methodology was developed through working with logging concessions in East Kalimantan, Indonesia. Recently, both organizations have partnered with WWF in order to field test the methodology in Madre de Dios, Peru, and on the basis of those tests, adapt the methodology where needed to prove in context. Implementation in Indonesia has shown that considerable emission reductions can be achieved through the application of real sea methodologies, ranging between 30 and 50 percent reductions whilst maintaining wood production. Preliminary data from Peru indicates that possible reductions of up to 25% compared to conventional logging. As mentioned, there have been no practical methodologies available for verifying emission reductions achieved with RIL, probably due to the difficulties in detecting RIL with remote sensing. A new method solves this problem by employing a performance method approach. A crediting baseline and an additionality benchmark are established with initial research in a given tropical ecoregion. Projects won't have to deal with baselines, additionality, leakage or uncertainty, just establishing initial eligibility and then conducting periodic monitoring with efficient field measurements of impact parameters. The challenge ahead for organizations such as ours is to showcase the potential of real C and similar methodologies, making them applicable to multiple, multiple geographies and therefore incentivizing responsible forest management as one of the key elements to reduce forest degradation and ultimately deforestation. Thank you for listening to me. For more information, feel free to contact me or my colleague from TNC, Bronson Griscom. Thank you very much.